My musical influences growing up uh, probably started with Michael Jackson. Back, I remember seeing the uh, Thriller video for the first time. I had no idea that he was gonna turn into a werewolf. But I just remember growing up just loving Michael Jackson and just wearing the little red jacket and dancing around and doing that whole deal. And then getting older, through high school and college, probably Rob Thomas of Matchbox 20, just loved um, that first record especially, man. Just the pop songs on there, the way he crafted a song as a songwriter uh, and just kind of the passion behind it. Now, I just, if I could sit in a room with one guy and just watch him write a song and just pick his brain on, on how he does it would be Chris Martin of Coldplay. I just love the way that, that he writes a song also and just the emotion he puts behind it. My musical mentors, uh, I have two. The first one would be Nathan Brown. He's a guy who taught me how to play guitar, the first guy who put me on stage with him to lead worship. And he really just kind of opened the door for me to, to start learning how to play and to sing, how to be in front of people, how to lead people. And then my, my other one is a guy, Kerry Pierce, who uh, he produced a record for me um, about four years ago, and just this incredible guy. He's a worship pastor here in town. He's also an artist who is just incredible. So he taught me really how to write a song and craft a song. He taught me how to be in front of people and um, try to do my best to kind of captivate him and you know be be someone who can be on stage. And, um, he, and he's also a guy who just kind of a, a spiritual mentor over the last years and just really a, a great guy who I look to and I ask advice a lot and uh, on just different situations. Musical and song influences for this record would probably be Rob Thomas, Matchbox 20, and just the fact of, of that songwriting. And so probably the earlier stuff, I really just, um, like I said, love the way that, that he would write a good song that would captivate people and that people wanted to listen to. So just melody-wise, you know, Chris Martin. Also just the emotion behind that of, of Coldplay's music. Um, but on the other end, uh, kind of the Christian side of things, really just look to, uh, you know, the Hillsong guys, um, you know, songwriting, um, man, Jason Ingram is a guy who's just on fire right now. And the great thing about Jason is he understands that, that God has given him a gift. There's no cockiness, there's no entitlement, but he just understands that um, he's gonna be faithful with what God's given him. And, um, and so, you know, you know, Tomlin and Crowder and, and I said Hillsong and Charlie Hall, some of the worship guys that I look to, uh, just to see what they're doing and see kind of what the church is resonating with. And um, so that's what I'd lean to kind of on the Christian side of, of influences. What song do I wish I would have written? Probably, uh, I got two that I'm fighting over, both Coldplay, either Yellow or the song Fix You. Man, what I love about those is, I love Yellow, it's kind of the first thing out of the box for Coldplay. And so the first time I heard Chris singing was, was that song. And so it was, uh, it's just kind of the ups and downs with that song, the dynamics, um, just the passion behind it. And then Fix You is this incredible song where when he's singing the song, I feel like he believes every word that he's singing. And so I jump into that song and then at the end they go into this four part harmony spot that it just takes it over the top. But um, I really wish I would have written one of those two songs.